And flooding has crippled parts of Brooklyn. We've been showing you video of streets and roadways inundated with water. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. And Hannah, what are you seeing now? Well, we're right in the midst of it. Ever since we came across this roadway, we're right here in front of the Marcy houses in Bed-Stuy. We're right along Flushing Avenue between Nostrand and Marcy. Take a look at what we're seeing. We've seen MTA buses, trucks, cars, and even people on bicycles and motorized scooters passing by this street, having a hard time, quite frankly, getting around because if you look in the middle of that roadway, you can see it is quite deep, completely flooded with water, uh, very difficult to navigate, especially for small vehicles, uh, dangerous to navigate. Um, and for many others, we've seen people trying to walk around it, and many of them who are not wearing the proper footwear, turning right back around and walking away because it, there's no way to get by. The water here is above the curb. Sewers are full of leaves and debris. It looks like they're also backed up. We've seen the uh, dark colored foul uh, water that's been backing up out of some parts of the street here. Um, and again, the ground is very saturated. So all of that water, it's got nowhere to go, but still a steady stream of traffic cautiously navigating. I don't know if you can see there is a person there trying to clear some of the debris out of one of the catch basins wearing those very large rain boots just trying to get some of that water out of the way. This is the reason for that travel advisory, that state of emergency, those requests for people to shelter in place because these are the conditions on the ground. Now the rain just a couple of minutes ago has gotten stronger uh, since the time we've been here and it's been a steady ebb and flow of the rain picking back up and then calming back down, picking back up again. So don't be fooled if you see the rain stop or slow down for a little while as the mayor and our first alert weather team has been telling you, don't be fooled by that. These conditions are going to be affecting us all throughout the rest of the day and into tomorrow morning. For now, we're live in Bedside. I'll send it back to you. Hannah Klieger, Hannah, thank you.